Late December's polar vortex brought freezing temperatures to Texas. It also left some Texans without heat. There was low gas pressure in north and central Texas. Grand Prairie was forced to open a warming shelter. Lawmakers ordered the Railroad Commission to weatherize its equipment after the deadly winter storm in 2021. Atmos Energy said in a statement to Spectrum News that it plans to provide reliable services all year, but quote, despite those preparations, last week we fell short for some of our customers who experienced interruptions in their natural gas service. That is not acceptable. The Railroad Commission of Texas, which regulates the state's oil and gas industry, launched an investigation last week. In a statement to Spectrum News, a spokesperson said, quote, the situation was caused by pipeline capacity constraints for parts of Atmos's system due to extremely high demand. That led to low gas pressure in localized areas. Ed Hers, an energy fellow at the University of Houston, said the state needs to invest in new natural gas plants to meet these demands and prevent future outages. We've got a real problem. Uh, delivering the basic commodities that we need to our, our citizens. The state keeps growing and our infrastructure is, is falling behind. Governor Greg Abbott has also called on the Railroad Commission and Attorney General to look into Atmos Energy. He called the failure unacceptable. Hers and another expert agree on a solution, but don't foresee anything substantial coming out of these investigations. Beth Garza with the R Street Institute says the state could incentivize or invest in building more plants during the next legislative session. There's not enough natural gas infrastructure to, to supply the needs of as big a state as we have become. Both experts say we won't know the true reason for last week's service disruption until the investigation is complete. The Railroad Commission says at most energy has until January 27th to provide details. For Spectrum News, I'm Charlotte Scott.